First step is to take your instant center finder and we'll draw one line in the direction of the grain of the wood. Get it as straight of, with the grain as possible. So I'll do that from one edge to the other. Okay, it doesn't extend all the way to the edge, so I'll put it on the other side and I'll extend the line completely to the edge. Next step is to find the center of our of our 8 inch plate and to do that just hook your instant center finder on one of the edges and make a very small hash mark and there's the center of our plate. You can check it if you wish just hook in another spot and you'll see that they all intersect in the same point. From this point we're going to draw our outer rim of our pattern. So put the point of the compass in the center and extend your compass out to about, oh leave, about a half an inch from the edge of your plate. And from there we'll draw a circle. Now to use your compass just do it with one hand and twist on the top of the compass. Our next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of this first line that you drew. To do that, put the point of the compass where it intersects the straight line and your outer circle. Next, enlarge the setting of your compass. Okay, we can make it quite large, about to there, and we'll draw an arc here, an arc over here, Move the setting of your point of your compass to the other side where it intersects and draw another arc so you form two intersecting points. From there, take a straight edge and those two intersecting points should go directly through the center of our plate and this forms a perpendicular bisector of this line. Okay, so now we divide our plate up into four equal quadrants. Next step, on the pattern that we're working on, is to take your straight edge and where they intersect on the outside is we're going to draw a square. So do this, repeat this four times. I'm drawing my lines darker than normal so that you can see them, but for your, your own carving and your own pattern, only draw it as dark as necessary. It makes cleanup that much easier. Our next step is to divide the outer line of our square in half. We can do that with a ruler. I'm going to use the metric scale and as I measure I see that mine comes out to be 128 millimeters. So 64 millimeters should put me right in the center. And I'll do that on all four sides. Take your straight edge again and draw the line from one side of your square to the other. And as a matter of fact, lightly draw the line on the outside all the way to the outside of the circle because we'll be using that later on. Take your compass and at the center point of the outside line on your square, set your compass from that point to the center of the plate. 
because from there we will now draw this part of our pattern. And we'll do that four times. Once those are drawn, take your straight edge and we will draw straight lines from there to there. And again, we'll do that four times. So now we've drawn a smaller square inside the outer square. Take your compass and at the intersecting point inside these four petals, you'll see a cross now, take your compass and we'll set that to until it reaches right to the edge of the petal and we'll draw a circle and again do that four times. Our next step we want to make a mark about six millimeters away from our petal and we'll do that on each side of our pattern. So I'll repeat that eight times. Now to draw this curve you can just freehand it and sketch it in from here to here but an easier way is to use a French curve. Okay and here's how you use one of these you can move it in all different directions to get a, ch a varying curve. You'll see it's much flatter down here and then the curve tightens in the radius up on the top. So I'm going to line it up with this point until it comes fairly flat down toward the center of my plate. And then I'll draw the line. Okay, and I'll do that around all these sides and then to get the opposite side, I'll flip my French curve over and do the same thing going in this direction. Okay, the, if you have to adjust it, just twist your French curve and it should make a smooth connection with the previous curve you just drew. Okay, so that's what it should look like when you're done and I'll repeat that seven more times around our pattern. Now that those curves are drawn, we'll still use our French curve once again as we subdivide these large chips out here. To do that, take your ruler and get just about the center there which looks like to be one centimeter from the inside. So make that mark and make that same measurement on each section around your pattern and then take your French curve once again in the same manner we'll draw from here to here flip it over and draw from here to here okay notice what I did I put the point of my pencil on the mark, the dividing mark, and then I run my French curve along it, around the outside of it until it lines up right where I want it to be. Okay, notice that I'll show you once again. Put the point of your pencil where you want it, right on that mark that you just made, and then slide your French curve right along your pencil, and it speeds up this layout process. Okay, now I'll repeat that around my pattern. To begin the layout on the outside portions of this pattern, take your ruler and measure five millimeters 
away from this outside line of the square. Again, we'll do that on all four sides. Next, take your straight edge, and we're going to draw a straight line I'm just eyeballing this so it parallels the outer line of our square and I'm going to draw that from one edge of the circle to the other and again I'll repeat that on all four sides. At this point we're going to use a circle template to draw a circle with a diameter being this line that we lightly drew across here. So I'm going to put my circle template in here and find the size circle that matches from one edge to the other and line that up on that straight line and draw a circle just like that. Alright, next I'd like to divide this large chip in half. Okay, it's much too big to work with as it is. So I want to split it in the center right down to there. Okay, and I'll use a French curve to draw it. But we need to know where to where to start on this edge of our circle. So with my circle template it has little hash marks on the edges. So if I make those marks right there, it shows me here and here and here and here. Make the mark just like that. And now I'll take my French curve and I'll draw from this point right to there. Flip it over and draw from here to here. Okay, and I'll repeat that around the outside of my plate. Okay, our pattern drawing is complete. One thing I like about this pattern is that there's a nice variety between large and small chips. You'll see these chips around each of the petals are quite large that will be taken out, surrounded by some smaller chips inside these circles as well as in this division outside here. Okay, we're all ready to carve, so get your knife sharp and join me in the next lesson.